What's going on YouTube? It is your boy Thomas and today we are looking at the supreme and undercover collaboration for week six of spring summer 2023. Let's get into it. Sup Thomas. So you guys can see I have Drops by Jay's Twitter pulled up right here with the full drop list and all the pieces. I was going to go through like him or Supreme Drops' Twitter. I don't know if that's the best thing or if I should go through the actual lookbook. So we're going to quickly do both. We're going to look through the lookbook first on Supreme's website and then go through Supreme Drops Twitter for the individual pieces. And guys, I'm on my road to 1,000 subscribers. So if you like Supreme News, sneaker reviews, live cop videos, and some actual unboxing reviews of Supreme, please check out the channel, stay tuned, and getting right into it. I really love the overall vibes of this collection. I think it is a complete collection with lots of different pieces from parkas to different types of outerwear, we have accessories, pants, flannels, some cool stuff here. We have the Arabic script builder. Don't know what that says. Probably should have looked it up. I'm sure people will post it maybe in the comments or somewhere on Twitter. We have this tiger camo zip up jacket with cool military inspired pockets. Same with the matching tiger camo uh, cargo pants with the Supreme undercover branding on the back this design is pretty cool too we have a windbreaker type of tracksuit with the supreme undercover logo right here this little kind of it looks like a skull and crossbones i don't think it is need to zoom in a bit we also have this motocross type of shirt with the anti-war on the front or on the sleeves and then this cool design like crown of thorns almost like that's kind of what i'm getting from this picture but it's kind of just some, you know, abstract art, cool design there. Then we do have this paint splatter t-shirt with the Supreme undercover pants and the flannel. So you can rock the flannel right there. I think that's what that is. Or maybe that's the short sleeve button up. There's really so many pieces and we'll be able to individually identify them later in the drop. So I'm just going to kind of look through more of these pictures just so we can kind of get a general vibe of what's going on. If you want to skip to later in the video, I guess I'll put a timestamp of where I go through the individual pieces if you've already seen the lookbook. But yeah, pretty cool stuff here. I really love this tactical bag right here, this kind of utility belt almost. It's really cool. You can rock it like this, you know, around the shoulders, even behind the back or on the shoulder and then on the waist, obviously too. Pretty neat. I love this jacket right here. This is gonna be like 600 bucks, so I can already tell you that much. We've got the leather right there. Then the kind of just down, maybe down filled uh, puffer jacket. Really cool way to split a puffer jacket with this leather. And I'm really happy to see like Undercover really take the reins here on the design. You can really tell that this was designed by Undercover with, you know, collaboration with Supreme. But when it comes to the actual pieces, like this is stuff that Supreme doesn't always do because this is a little more Japanese utilitarian, like kind of that tech gear or tech wear almost, but I think it's pretty sick. I love it in black, honestly. I think this piece will sell out. Got the Supreme undercover down there, the studs on the shoulders and the wrists. Really sick, and I love these two colors. They just look great together. Then we got the trench puffer jacket, pretty neat. Got some nice black on black on black looks there. And the trench plus puffer jacket. Okay, they're just listing them as the same thing, like as a collection, gotcha. They're different pieces, of course. This is the puffer jacket, pretty standard, but really think it's it's pretty nice. Definitely a lot of, uh, of layers of different puffs on it. Does that make sense? Sometimes you'll see like a couple lines on them. This one has one, two, three, four, five lines. That's pretty cool. Kind of makes it unique looking. So is this released together or not? I'm kind of not understanding this because this is showing them layered together. This is showing them as separate things. I don't know. They're probably different pieces if I had to guess. Here is the layered jean, which I think this does come with the flannel because every picture I've seen with it includes the flannel there. So if this is actually sewed into the jean and you're like forced to wear it with the flannel, that's actually really cool design wise because 
instead of having that be the style that is the item, right? Of like wrapping the flannel around your waist, which I always thought was a cool trend that kind of died off. So cool to see they're bringing that back. I actually like this piece a lot. And I'm a complete idiot because this is the jean without the jacket, <laughs> without the flannel being wrapped around it. So maybe you can unzip it. That's exactly what you can do. So boom, I'm right again. There's the zipper right there. A really roller coaster of emotions, folks, on this. There is all three colorways. I think the just the classic blue denim looks good. Also, the black looks good too. Not so sure about the khaki, but that is dealer's choice or supreme purchaser's choice, right? Which one do you like better? Let me know down below. Are you guys feeling this collection so far? Not all the way through it, but just overall thoughts and opinions. Post them down there. Like this piece a lot, the Supreme Undercover Studded BDU Jacket. So that is Battle Dress Uniform. Boom. So this is the Battle Dress Uniform Jacket. Pretty cool. Love this camo on there. And even the red studs, I didn't notice them at first, but they're kind of a really cool touch. I like the black one a lot more with these hits of like infrared on there with the black studs. I think it just overall works a little bit better but I could definitely see the desert tire camo going well too. Here is the studded cargo pant to match, of course. Gotta get the full set. I'd probably get the, ooh, I think the pants actually are really cool. If I had to pick one. Now let's zoom in on this guy. We're gonna bring him into our good old friend, Microsoft Paint, and take a little look-see at what this is. So it looks like it is bones. Is that a skull though? I can't really tell. Maybe it's a brain. That'd be sick. I really don't know what that design is, but it is cool. It's a repeated pattern on the jacket right there. Track jacket. Very cool. Love that they're only doing like two or three colors for most things. Like it really feels a lot more focused than let's say some of the North Face collabs, which are a little less focused with a wider range of colors. This is really nailing down on its identity and what it's trying to convey in the pieces. So really like that. Got the short sleeve fan on too with the builder. Maybe that just means builder. That would make a lot of sense given that it has builder right there as like the the English translation. So maybe that's it. And I love this motocross jersey right here. Really, really sick anti-war. Got the kind of thorn design on the front. Nothing on the back. Undercover Supreme down there. Keeping that tied to the whole collection. Love the blue addition to this. I think it works really well on the tiger camo with the orange hits there. Very cool. Then this is Rebel gods rebel gods in a flipped font now that would definitely flip the right way around in the mirror right i don't know i said that last week and i was completely wrong so let's see if this week i think this would be because this is an actual flip of the logo moment of truth yes so this does actually read rebel gods in a mirror reflection some photos depending on the camera maybe don't know but that's a pretty, you know, it's a football top. It's not for me personally. I don't like this design as much, but I could definitely see people digging it. It has a Supreme logo right there on the bottom. So that is cool. Now we have the zip up hooded sweatshirt right here. Very nice, very dope. I realize also I'm probably not going to have to go to Twitter for this because I have just been reading all the pieces off and it actually does help that I have the description underneath on Supreme's website. So going to keep rocking with this. Kind of have some Egyptian vibes with this. We have some kind of logos there, different types of things. Got E, love that. Let's see. Yeah, it's some sort of person doing a thing. Cool zip up hooded sweatshirt there. Three different colors. Again, pretty focused, pretty similar themes on the matching pants. Then we have this anti-U design with the bunny middle finger. Like this is the classic Supreme fuck you stuff, which I, I always think it's funny. I would never buy it, but I could definitely see someone wanting that. I do really love this infrared with maroon. Really reminds me of the Yeezy season Adidas track pants that I actually have. Same exact colorway. Blue looks good too and the black and gray for the classic Supreme. Now, we have some of the great stuff. Some of the best pieces we haven't even looked at yet, including this t-shirt right here, the face tee with the sup. 
I just love everything about this. I love how big the screen print is. Love how big the sup is. The picture on the back is very cool. It's got the eye just centered in perfectly. It's like, oh, as someone who has kind of OCD for parallel design, as you can tell by my thumbnails, I hope you guys can tell I put a lot of effort into those. This is really sick. Really love it. Got the two, just black and white. Keep it simple. And then I think this is a different shirt. Yeah, because we can see the tag on the inside right there. This is the, the tag tee. I said tag for the Supreme tag. This is the graffiti tag, right? So that's a pretty neat design too. And I love this right here, the Supreme undercover Lupin tee, which if you guys aren't familiar with, the Lupin the third is a very popular Japanese movie, manga, anime, has a lot of different stuff on it right here. I haven't actually seen it personally. I have heard of it though. So I am cool. I do know what I'm talking about. And yeah, I just love the design here. I think regardless if you know what it's from or not, it is taking that theme of undercover using the Japanese movie as part of the design. If we saw from their last collab, we had the Seven Samurai from 2016. We had the Seven Samurai shirt, which I actually have the white one, the white and red one. So kind of following up on that theme, we have Undercover once again doing that with Lupin, which is pretty cool. Love that design. I think the black one just works a little bit better. You can see the characters pop a little bit more, but I love just the, the puppetry design, the graphic, all that good stuff. Really cool six panel hat. Probably the best hat we've seen this season so far. Undercover Supreme Anti-War. Love it. Summer 2023. Looks super sick. And then we have the belt waist bag. Really cool. Got five different pockets on it. Six different pockets on it. I can't count. And this is super sick. Military inspired, obviously. Stuff you'd put like, you know, ammo in or a knife, compass, tools, whatever you need out there in the field. Super sick. Love this. And I love that it's like they're doing military gear with the anti-war slogan. That is classic Supreme stuff, taking something, making it an oxymoron, right? Being anti-capitalist, but being a capitalist clothing company. It's really just what they've been doing for years. And finally, the anti-U Supreme undercover rug. And then overall, just looking at some of these pieces as, you know, a collective, I really just love the overall, like, overarching theme of this collab being the anti-war stuff, being the fuck you, having all these kind of defined black, darker colors, a little bit of flannel. We got some anime in there. We got some military inspired stuff the outerwear, the pants, like it's a very diverse collection. And I think most people could find something that works for them. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. What are your thoughts on the Supreme undercover collab? Are you going to cop this week or are you just waiting for the next drop? Maybe an accessory or two, whatever it is, do be sure to let me know in the comments. It's been your boy Thomas, and I'm out. Peace. And Buckries. See ya.